A New Mexico sheriff is facing federal charges today. The FBI arrested Rio Reba County Sheriff Tommy Rodella and his son. But they're already free to go home tonight, and the sheriff is free to go back to work. Target 7's Nancy Laughlin is here to explain. Well, Sheriff Tommy Rodella is used to seeing the inside of a courthouse, but never like this. His lawyer says they are ready for a fight. It was a stunner. The feds announced a New Mexico sheriff had been arrested. We take little pleasure in bringing charges against any law enforcement official. That official is Rio Arriba County Sheriff Tommy Rodella, seen here in file video. The feds arrested Rodella and his son early this morning in Española after a grand jury indicted them earlier this week. The pair are accused of civil rights violations, falsifying documents, and violating federal firearms laws. The FBI wants to make it clear that no one is above the law, no matter, regardless of the uniform or badge you wear. Back in March, the feds say Rodella and his son were in their personal SUV, not in uniform, when they chased a man in another car. Investigators say the Rodellas forced Michael Tafoya to pull over, then pointed a gun in his face. Tafoya told Action 7 News he begged the sheriff not to kill him when Tafoya asked to see Rodella's badge. He slaps me across the face with the badge. The FBI investigated, then arrested the father and son. But their lawyers say with all the officer involved shootings in New Mexico, this is where the U.S. U.S. attorney charges a civil rights case. Rodella's attorneys say he pulled Tafoya over because he thought Tafoya was driving drunk and says Tafoya tried to run Rodella over. We want a trial in 70 days and fights on. The feds wanted Rodella to stay in a halfway house and away from Rio Arriba County, but late today a judge ruled Rodella and his son can return home and Sheriff Rodella can return to work without his gun. Now, the Rio Oriba County manager says Rodella's son is a reserve deputy with the county. The manager told us he thinks Tommy Rodella should resign, but the county cannot force that, and Rodella's attorney says Rodella will not resign. One way or the other, though, Rodella will leave office in January. He lost his reelection bid in the June primary. Royal. Okay, thank you, Nancy. The county is also trying to figure out if it's responsible for Rodella's legal fees because even if he's out of uniform, a sheriff is essentially on duty at all times. Police 